Welcome to Devotions for Wednesday, March 31st, 2021. I'm Pastor Deborah Muter from Gethsemane Lutheran Church. Today I am in my office because I want to use a prop, this rooster right up here in just a few minutes. Um, I We had already uh, for the devotions for Holy Week, uh, the basin and the towel for Jesus washing the disciples' feet. I also showed you the grapes, the chalice, and the loaf of bread. And then today, I've got the rooster. This guy has a special gift that I really appreciate. And he does spend all his time right up there on my shelf. Nice rooster. He's even got some sunflowers, right? Why a rooster? Well, some of you already know where I'm going with this. Peter, right? Peter, also known as Simon Peter. Jesus sometimes just called him Simon. He was one of Jesus' very faithful followers. In fact, he was one of the ones that was taken up on the mount for the transfiguration and other important times. He was the impulsive one. When Jesus would ask a question, he'd hop in right away with an answer, right or wrong. And he was the one that tried to rebuke Jesus when Jesus talked about, about uh, death even in resurrection, but dying, suffering and dying for the people, Peter said, no, no, we can't have that. That's not the way it's supposed to be. And Jesus had to rebuke him back and say, no, get behind me, Satan, because you're tempting me and you're talking about things other than what I'm supposed to be about. So Peter is that impetuous one. And one of the things that Jesus says in his last meal with his disciples, this is from Luke chapter 22, Let's see, verses 31 to 34, Jesus says, Simon, Simon, speaking to Peter, Simon, Peter, Satan has demanded to sift all of you like wheat. So kind of sift out and keep the good, and let the chaff, let the bad parts, uh, useless parts go away. And Jesus says, but I have prayed for you that your own faith may not fail. And that once you've turned back, strength, once you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. That's an important part on this. Peter said, Lord, I'm ready to go with you to prison and to death. See, here's Peter, ready to go all the time, right? Jesus said, you know what, Peter, it's not going to be like that. He says, the rooster will crow this day, will not crow this day until you have denied me three times. So this is in the evening, Thursday evening. Before Friday morning, Jesus says, you will have denied that you even know me. Before the day is over, it, it, you know, it's not even like years from now or weeks from now. Right now, it's going to happen. And, of course, Peter says, no, no, I will. That won't happen. And and if you just turn the page in your Bible and move all the way to Luke 22, um, starting at page, uh, verse 54, is the scene out by the fire. They've seized Jesus. They've led him away to be arrested. And here's Peter out there warming himself by this fire overnight, waiting to see what's going to happen. And first... Um, at least in Luke, a servant girl comes up and says, this man was with Jesus group. And Peter says, no, 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 I don't know him. I don't know him. You know, at that time, at that moment, it must have felt like the right thing to do, the wrong thing to do, but the right thing to do. Like, don't admit that you're with Jesus or you might get arrested too, right? And then another one says, yes, yes, he was with him. And each time Peter says, no, no, I don't know him. I swear I do not know him. And as soon as it happens a third time, the rooster crows. The morning's about to begin. Probably the sun's about to come up pretty soon. They've been out all night, up all night, praying, watching. And Peter still did not have the wherewithal, the strength to say, yes, I know Jesus. And we remember this because we're not much different. It's hard for us to acknowledge and let people know about Jesus. And we're human beings. But remember that one part that I read says, when you turn back, make sure you strengthen your brothers and sisters. And that's our opportunity too. When we falter, when we turn back to God again, we want to reach out and strengthen others as much as we possibly can. And be reminded in this holy week that we don't do it perfectly. We don't even do it well. Jesus is the only one who really does that. Now let's pray together. Loving God and Father, remind us to let our love for Jesus show in front of everyone we know. Show us how we can share the message of the good news that you have given us with all our family and friends. When we are afraid, forgive us and comfort us. We ask for your guidance for this world 
for those who are sick or mourning, for those going through any difficulty. We pray that you would bless those who are celebrating this week as well. All this we bring to you in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.